Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey. Hope everybody's having a good day today. Uh we're having a good time. Uh everyone's doing well. <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> is this payback? Yes, this is a hundred percent payback, you son of a bitch. He's not even here. He's not even here right now. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this sweet summer child that I have to my to my uh my left right now. God. God, it's so good. It's such a good picture. All right, I think I know exactly which fucking picture you picked. <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, he's back, folks. He's Let's back. Let's see. Oh, my God. Yeah, no. Is that the one that's got the dog in it? No, it, it's next to the one that has the dog in it. This is the one where you have, like, all your shirt okay. undone. For some yeah, reason. no, absolutely. Hey, listen, <laughs> even as a high schooler, I was absolutely about... Hey, let's show that shit off. I'm proud of my <laughs> guest, baby. <laughs> look at that! Look at yeah. that! Look at that glow up, folks. Look at that glow up. <laughs> uh... What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Save Data Plays Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Wes! That was my Smash Brothers oh, introduction. That's good, that's good. And uh, our actual lawyer, Pridge. I bought myself a new Pokemon Snap with some, um, with some Christmas gift cards. Oh. Let me tell you, that shit's therapeutic. Oh, nice. Yeah. It's good to hear it. It's good to hear it. Uh, folks, if you like this show, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash save data team every Wednesday night, 7 30 PM Eastern time. But if not, no worries. It goes up as an edited VOD on our YouTube channel uh, every the very following Monday and Tuesday, man, I botched that intro so bad. Uh, but Hey, <laughs> if you want to help me do better, uh, head over to patreon.com slash save data team, throw us a buck there. Help me go to school, <laughs> learn how Basically to Basically what Zach. What Zach just told you is that if you want him to do the stream good, give him money. I mean, it helps. All right. Well, I guess with that out of the way, should we play the video game? Wow. Is it time? Only 17 minutes in. Who are we? I know. That's really weird of us. Yeah. I legit forgot that we were standing in the bear room. Also, it's it says 9.15 p.m. It's fucking bright as shit outside. Come on. <laughs> It's just a billboard or like a, a big sign right outside the That's window. That's what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's past 9 p.m. already, isn't it? Carl, is it past your bedtime? I wonder. I wonder if Mr. Edgeworth has already found Mystic Maya. These things take time. I'd say probably not. The it's hopeless. The police are professionals, Pearls. They'll, they'll find her. Don't you worry. And if we can win a not guilty verdict tomorrow, then everything will be okay. Everyone knows assassins are notorious for keeping their word. Uh -huh. Right? <laughs> You're right. Well, oh, wow. I guess let's talk about it. <laughs> Pearls, you're the real killer, aren't you? <laughs> Damn it, Mr. Wright. <laughs> so... The real person who killed Mr. Corita was... That assassin. Mr. Shelley the Killer, right? And the card Miss Andrews found at the crime scene seems to be proof of that. But if that's the case, then a new question comes to mind. Who was the one that hired the killer to begin with? Who was his client? You mean, who asked for the murder? That person didn't want... That person didn't want to dirty their own hands in blood. But whoever this client is, they're still a killer. Because blood is icky and gross. <laughs> who... Who could have hired the assassin? Do you think it was Miss Andrews? 
I wonder. But if and then the was... darkness consumed Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> but if she was the client, then why go through the effort to stab the knife into the corpse herself? I forgot that she did that. It was kind of fucked up, huh? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. But if Miss Andrews wasn't the client, then no, it, it can't be. Matt Ungard himself? He's the only Whoa. new character we've met besides Miss Andrews. Yeah. And they wouldn't and they wouldn't make an old character the client. So we really don't have any other options. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Bring him back old bag would be really nice. The, the oh, linear, please make an old bag. The basics of game design almost guarantee such a thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the real world, it could be anyone. But since I'm self-aware that I'm in a video game, it yeah. kinda has to be Matt. <laughs> uh, Logan Anime Guy just subscribed for six months in a row. They do ask the question, considering we know who the killer is, wouldn't Matt be released at this point? I mean, his, tri his trial's not over yet, though. They haven't, they haven't officially... Mm. Um, they haven't officially acquitted him. That's fair. Right. So the next day, they just call everybody in and be like, well, it was an assassin, so let's let him go. Hmm. Okay, was it Matt Pearls? Pearls, a nine-year-old. Did our client kill? <laughs> <laughs> if Mr. Ungar really did hire the assassin... Then he is not innocent at all. Far from it, he would be guilty of the crime. But it can't be Mr. Ungar, right? I mean, when we first talked with him... Mr. Ungard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill Mr. Juan Carita? Alright, just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Carita, okay? I didn't personally, with my own two hands, commit the act that ended Juan Carita's life. Okay? <laughs> and don't ask why I was so specific about that response. Yeah. <laughs> don't ask don't ask any more questions about it because Please it's don't getting follow harder up to on lie that. about it. <laughs> I didn't see any cyclops at the time. Actually, that reminds me. Did you remember something, Mr. Nick? Yeah. Something Miss Andrews said at the trial today. She said something interesting. Something interesting. Something interesting. <laughs> Flashback hey, to Adrian bro, Andrews going, interesting. something interesting. <laughs> um, so what is this interesting thing? Something. <laughs> oh, that's right. You didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? I'd have bet everything on the Jam and Ninja this year. But if he lost the Grand Prix, he was going to make sure Matt was going down with him. That's what he thought, anyway. It looked like somehow... Juan had, it, Juan had his hands, had in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. He pees sitting down. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. He's actually bald and that hair piece is a fake. <laughs> bald! Bald! <laughs> Mr. and Guard's secret? What is this secret? I don't know yet. But for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Karita was going to reveal this secret. That means Mr. Engard had plenty of motive to have Mr. Karita silenced. Which means we have to meet with Mr. Engard. There's no way around it now. <laughs> Mediocre Potato cheered 5-bit saying, Lawyer question, obviously it's illegal to hire someone to kill someone else. But what are the legal ramifications of taking a hit out a hit on yourself, assuming you survive and aren't doing something like insurance fraud? Y'all come so up you, with some wild speculative things on this one. So you've hired someone to kill yourself, but yeah. they failed? Yes. <laughs> I'm assuming. Uh, why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> to test, to test yourself. <laughs> to test the limits of my abilities. <laughs> and Logan tipped the dollars and Goku did it with hit. 
Goku did it with Hit. Oh, I think Goku like asked Hit to try to kill him. Oh, as, oh, a, con oh. as a contract, and then Hit couldn't do it because gotcha, he's gotcha, Goku, gotcha. and they're not gonna kill the main character. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. Fridge, what, well, what, what there you I... go. Turn it. Turn into the next season of DBZ where Goku and Hit go to court. <laughs> Fridge, now what about laws in, on Namek? Uh, what What would be the ramifications? <laughs> Uh, are you are you well versed in Namekian yeah. and the Namekian bylaws? <laughs> I think I took one class on that. <laughs> uh, was not test was not tested on the bar though, so I think I wasted my time uh, there. That sucks. Yeah, I was gonna say, how does dismemberment work if they can grow their limbs back? That's true. In Namekian court, that that'll never fly. <laughs> <sighs> Wow, it's really getting late, isn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it's past 9 p.m. already. But we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. There's still the matter of this secret Mr. Karita knew about Mr. Unguard, and Miss Andrew's real intentions. Those are two things I must know tonight. But aren't visiting hours over at the detention center? Hmm, I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Don't you worry. Okay. We're gonna Time bust. to pull an Ocean's Eleven yeah. into prison. Yeah. Gonna bust into prison. God damn it. Oh no, why? Oh, bye. Uh, hey, wait! What is it, whippersnapper? All I know is nothing has, e nothing has anything to do with you is ever good. Like just now, I was handed this strange device for who knows what reason, and I was told to use it to search the whole hotel. That's the bug sweeper, isn't it? The one Gumshoe made. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care. But the request came from Edgy Poo, so... Edgeworth? And he said... If you feel angry, direct your anger at that unsophisticated lawyer. So, I'm going to feel free to direct all my anger towards you. Ugh. Gee, thanks a bundle, Edgeworth. What a pal you are. What a buddy, what a pal. <laughs> this is absolutely top secret, so you had better keep it to yourself. I hear they found a spy camera hidden in one of the prisons. Hmm, very interesting. I'm sure it was, you know... It was to catch poor Juan in the middle of a scandalous meeting. Scandalous? What's, what's that? Well, you know that gossip that's been going around about my dear Juan. Oh, you mean that thing about Miss Andrews? But I'm sure she must have had some reason for getting close to Mr. Corita. I'll let you in on another secret, youngin. I know who planted that spy camera. It was that obnoxious, puffy-haired photographer girl. The nerve of some people. Spying on people by herself, as if I wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. Wow. The alien actually admitted her true intentions for a change. If you want to find out what they are, turn into those kooky aliens on ABC Family at 7 p.m. I don't know what you're thinking exactly, but I can bet that it's nothing good. But I didn't say anything. So, you want to know about Juan and that manager, right? Actually, as I hear it, they were something of a refreshing pair, those two. Oh? I tell you, Juan really welcomed that manager with open arms, I heard. Sorry, what? Uh, that manager? Who are you talking about? Don't know. That manager woman Juan had. It's a shame she killed herself, though. Oh, you're talking about Miss Celeste Impacts, Miss Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That's the last girl. She was supposed to get married, you know. M married? You mean to Mr. Karina? 
<sighs> really, you young kids today don't know anything, do you? That girl Celeste killed herself three days after their marriage announcement. Three days after their marriage announcement? What in the... Why would Miss Impacts want to kill herself? She was going to get married. Also, we have not discussed how traumatizing this is for a nine-year-old. Yeah, for real. Uh-huh. Well, that's because she was thrown away, you see, by Juan. What? But they were going to get married, right? They promised each other, right? They held a grand announcement session, but three days later, Juan suddenly cancelled their marriage. Is that true? It was in the weekly magazines. But, but why? Why did he do that? That was not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. That night after Juan called off the wedding, that manager, Celeste, killed herself. How terrible. I wonder what happened between those two. Mm, well, I guess we'll go ask uh, Celeste, not Celeste, the other person. <laughs> Andrews, we're back in the trailer. I mean, we have a spirit medium. <laughs> we do. That's true. And one who's actually confident on <clears throat> it. Ouch. I'm sorry. <sighs> on that night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. Hmm. I guess the police are done with their questioning invest and investigating. It looks like the things in the lobby have finally calmed down. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, let's... We, we, can go back to, we can go back to Matt Guy's house. We can! Oh, yeah, we can! <laughs> hey, what's going on? Uh, just us, man. Where's, just wanted to stop where's it. shoe? Where's shoe? Give me just shoe. To, just wanted to stop him and say, hey... Looks like no one's around. Um, what happened to that? <laughs> what happened to that person with the stuffed teddy face? Oh, she must mean the butler with the stitches on his face. Yeah, what the fuck was up with that? He has a teddy bear face, and Juan's room is full of teddy bears. Bum, bum, is Billy the Killer actually a giant teddy bear? Amazing. And that's Shoo. just a theory of the game theory. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Hey! Meow. No. Oh, there you are. I guess you're still awake, huh, Shu? Meow. Hey, hey, come on, let's play. Adorable. I wonder if that butler, Mr. Doe, is already asleep or not. <laughs> Alright, let's go back to Wright and Co. Law Offices. Maybe Gumshoe's here. No. It doesn't look well. That answers that question. Yeah, jeez. What do, what do we? What are we? What are we paying him for? <laughs> you don't pay me, pal. <laughs> it doesn't look like Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. Well, he's out there with that camera, asking all around at, at electronic stores. Oh. Then, then I'll make some salad for him for dinner. Looks like Pearls really appreciate what appreciates what Gumshoe is doing for us. Look at all this Pearl character I know, building really. we got going on. Um, Mr. Nick. Uh, yes. Where is the lettuce? I don't think I've ever bought lettuce before. Hey, <laughs> same, same Phoenix, same. <laughs> oh, I guess I'll have to give up on making a salad then. I mean, can you make a salad with some bread and cereal? Guess the <laughs> what? Guess the lack of lettuce is kind of a problem. Yeah, crap salad. Is it, please tell me there's not more we can add. Okay, cool. I didn't know if I was gonna be like, oh, new location, new 
lines of dialogue. Yeah, we've talked we've talked to Pro about salads. <laughs> what do you put on <laughs> your salad, Pro? Two salads. Visiting hours ended a few hours ago. Looks like we're How not going we to get, get a chance. in here then. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're not going to get a chance to talk with Mr. On Guard tonight. But, but, isn't what we have to ask very important? Yeah, but I don't think that matters to the guard. Okay. Actually, if it's very important, I'll you do whatever you want. <laughs> uh, let's go to criminal affairs. It feels sort of tense in here, doesn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it does. I wonder if something happened. You're the ch you're Mr. Ungard's lawyer, right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. A decisive witness? You mean for Mr. Ungard's case? Taking the witness's statement right now, gotta hand it to Mr. Edgeworth. What's Edgeworth up to now? Who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. M Mr. Nick? Between the kidnapper's demand and now this, I don't see any way to win here. Oh, yeah. Sir Edgeworth wanted me to tell you something. He did? Even though visiting hours are long over at the detention center, he wanted me to grant you special permission, so there you go. Oh, okay, that's nice of him. Huh? I've already called them, so they know. Well, when did you call them? Like, two minutes ago? Because... <laughs> go on! Go talk to your heart's content. Uh, thank you very much. This is such good news, Mr. Nick. Go talk to your heart's content. Sounds like the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. Which means that they absolutely don't. Nope. She's going to be farther off than normal. I'm sure they must have transferred Miss Andrews here by now. So that means that both Mr. On Guard and Miss Andrews are in the detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Probably making Ooh. out right now. <laughs> Uh, I vote Adrian Andrews first, but that's just because the game has made it seem like we want to figure out the secret from her. Yeah, sure. What's wrong with that? That 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 that, that logic checks out in my book. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour, but there are a few questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. Me? I thought your client was Matt. I'm sure Miss Andrews knows something. I'm, I'm sure well, Miss Andrews what? knows something. Well, sh you see, lawyers sometimes have to talk to people who aren't their clients, you know, like witnesses. No, shocking. Shocking revelation here, Miss Andrews, but I need to talk to you, too. She can't be clue or she can't be clueless about the secret Mr. Karita had on Mr. On Guard. I'd like to ask you about Matt On Guard, if you don't mind. Mr. Wright, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Ungard. If that's the case, then why did you become his manager? Why would you become intimate with his rival? That has nothing to do with this case. Nothing. I bet it does. About Miss Celeste Impax. I had finally put her death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. I... I'm sorry. Yes, I was shocked by her suicide. But it's true that when I heard the rumor that Juan was the one who had hidden her suicide note, I began to draw close to him. I wanted to get her suicide note back. To burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? Didn't want it to spread like just another piece of gossip. But I never held any murderous intent towards Juan. I would never do something so stupid. Suicide note, huh? 
I wonder what it said. <clears throat> why did you try to frame Mr. Engard? It's simple. Because he's the killer, that's why. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to inform the police? Yeah, but you can do it another way. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, there had to be another way. No, <laughs> even I, Pearl's got it. All I could do, all I could think of, was stabbing the victim with a salad knife. <laughs> yeah, didn't you see the message I wrote in Sharpie on the blade that says "Matt is the killer"? <laughs> I delivered it right to you. <laughs> the police are. Okay, Phoenix, come on. Hey, biggest lie in the game! Jeez, the police are excellent at doing their job. So they figure it out, right? Literally, yes. Phoenix, literally every case you've been in, the police have got the wrong person. What are you talking about? <laughs> Sometimes they're very wrong. <sighs> <laughs> yes, they're so good that they couldn't figure out the real truth behind Celeste's death. Yes, Andrews. Well, I'm gonna need you to lock up that bad attitude, okay? <laughs> well, um, I know you're not the type of a person to do something without reason, so please tell me why you did what you did. Venge. Huh? Did you say something just now? Get in his own. <laughs> A cyclock, huh? Don't you understand yet? You're not my lawyer. To be honest, you're more like my enemy. But... So this is where we battle, battle, battle! <laughs> it's time to... Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm sure I just heard Miss Andrews say... Revenge. Uh, oh. I mean, do we t do we test the thing now? It's only one cyclock, but I don't know if we have the thing. Um. Well, let's just see what. Yeah, give it a shot. What? Yeah, what, what we have to figure out. Can you please tell me why you frame Mister and Guard for the murder? I've already told you countless times. It's because I thought Matt was the killer. No, that's not it. I know you have a personal reason to dislike Mr. Ungard. Miss Andrews, you may think I didn't hear it, but I know what you said. I know you said something earlier. You said revenge. So, you're saying I was taking my revenge out on Matt, and that's why? What an absurd idea. I don't have anything I want to take revenge for. Miss Andrews... A woman who lives by being dependent on another person. There is something or someone in her past that would make her take revenge. Oh, well. I mean, yeah. It's, okay, it's missed impacts. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's a, pretty, that's a pretty easy one. Yeah. Celeste? There was only one catalyst that could cause such a strong fe- There was only one catalyst that could cause such strong feelings, and even revenge. And that- is Miss Impax's suicide. What are you trying to say? Celeste was Juan's manager. Hey, they that. can really stop flashing back to this picture. We, yeah. we know oh, yeah. she killed herself. Yeah. Like, yeah, they really like this they picture. They really don't need to keep showing us this every time they mention the word suicide. Mm -hmm. It's a little unnecessary. Mm -hmm. It's a lot unnecessary, actually. Yeah. On top of that, the one who hit her suicide note was also Juan. What does all this have to do with Matt? You're right. You haven't mentioned him. Yet. But for you to hate Mr. Ungard, it would mean that he must have had some relation to Miss Impacts and her suicide. Can you explain to me this relation between Celeste and Matt? Oh. Uh... I mean, we didn't get anything from when yeah, yeah. Goldback told us about it, right? No, we don't. We don't have anything that connects the two of them yet. Okay. All right. Well, we give up then. I, don't I give I, up. I don't have enough evidence yet. I should investigate and gather some more clues before I try again. 
Okay, bye. Wait, so do we... Do we have to come back I think you here? have to, like, leave. Yeah, uh, I think you have to leave and then come back. Video games? <laughs> video games? Oh, well. There's something here. <clears throat> uh, Jesus Christ. I don't know who this... You know what? For every... I'm, I'm, here's, here's my new headcanon. Okay. For every question mark character... I, we need we need like a consistent voice for question marks mm. because I'm tired of getting them wrong and then looking like an idiot. So right now I, I, I'm, we're gonna workshop it. So right now it's gonna be like a the Swedish guy. We'll do that. Oh, we did get. Oh, Mister Wright, please, you have to help me. That's pretty good. I like that though. <laughs> that's that's our question mark character. Uh oh, it's the Never Swedish question guy. Mark. Oh, it's it's Mister Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Phoenix Wright, and I hate the Swedish. Oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, it was him the whole time. <laughs> Mr. Powers. Did you like my impression? It's going to be for the next television show I'm doing. What happened? Why are you Swedish? I mean, what why are you here? <laughs> <laughs> All right. uh, you see, I got roped into this somehow. What? I step away from you two for two seconds, and this is what happens. And now I'm going to testify at tomorrow's trial. But you were never around us. This, we haven't seen you for like three days. Oh, jeez, Mr. Wright. So the decisive witness is Mr. Powers? I was talking with a detective until a little while ago. And I was on my way home. And all of a sudden, you there, you're under arrest. I was brought back here. Wait, you're under arrest? Uh, oh. He said my face and whole self in general looked suspicious or something. Wow. Else. Racial profiling much <laughs> against a white guy in a white country. Well, that doesn't make sense. Uh, well, I... This really is fiction. <laughs> Damn. Fuck, that was good. Oh, God. <laughs> Well, I guess I can see that how they thought you looked suspicious. You there, wow, you Phoenix look like Wright one of those. Racially profiling. <laughs> <laughs> you there, you look like one of those Australians. Get over here. <sighs> I'm just a normal guy on an exercise show for kids. Is that a crime? Uh... Actually, if you look at the bylaws of Japan, <laughs> America, it is a crime. Uh, and Skep says facial profiling, which... Oh, uh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, uh, the telepathic kid says, actual Australian here, please don't arrest me. <laughs> hey, you better watch yourself. <laughs> we got our eyes on you. Uh, and Just Ace should have been saying, as an Australian, can't confirm I get arrested for looking suspicious on a regular basis. Yeah, oh, no. <laughs> you, you watch your back. I mean... <laughs> It was a prison colony. <laughs> there we go. Got him, folks. Got him, folks. Got him. And, now, and now we have zero Australian viewers. <laughs> Chrono Wizard. There's the didgeridoo that stole me money. <laughs> That's really good. So, about this testimony you're giving, what are you going to talk about? Uh, I really don't know yet. What? It sounds like I saw something pretty important from what they tell me. You saw something important? What was it? Well, the detective told me not to talk about it. You can't tell anyone, and especially not that lawyer, he said. Will Powers, we've been through a lot, all right? <laughs> you gonna do me like this? Better not do yeah. me like this, Will. Who do you think is that lawyer the detective was talking about? Well, I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's me. <laughs> yeah, you got it. Mr. Nick. Mystic Maya and myself are your only two allies in this whole world. 
but it's yeah. all right. Well, it's about to be just one of you, Pearl. Wow, sorry that you all have no friends, Mr. Wright. Hey, I think Gumshoe, I think Gumshoe counts too. I don't really have a lot of friends, do I? <laughs> Phoenix just having a crisis now. This is gonna do a lot of damage to Matt, you know. Because he's got that refreshing like a spring breeze image going. But what is he really like? Well, let's see. Matt's always been kind of a player with women. He would never really turn a pretty face away, if you know what I mean. He'd always say, it's just a game to justify himself. Oh. What? I don't know if that's a good justification for that, yeah, actually. How horrible! That's unforgivable! Ow! <laughs> Sorry. Did slap him? Didn't mean to offend you. By telling <laughs> yes, a story about did. another person? Uh-huh. You know, he said once that there's only one person in the world who won't swoon over me. One person who wouldn't swoon over him? His manager, you know, Miss Adrian Andrews. Why is Mr. Power suddenly looking kind of energetic? As your chance, Will. <laughs> Go for it. Ah, you see, I'm actually a sucker for gossip. I mean, celebrities in their world have this dazzling sort of image, right? A dazzling sort of image? But aren't you part of that dazzle, Mr. Powers? No, I'm more of a hairy, sweaty, Aww. smelly, brutish kind of guy, you see. Damn. Yeah, Will, Aww. Will, come on. Everybody give Will some love. There's He's someone out there it. for you, Will. Yeah, for real. Yeah, someone, someone some equally is that shit. sweaty. Yeah, that's maybe true. Not, maybe not sweaty, but <laughs> we can fix, we can work with that part. Yeah. We can Ooh, work on it's that. It's time for... Makeover, makeover. <laughs> I mean, I was just thinking some deodorant, some stronger deodorant. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think we need a full makeover. Just, just some, maybe some prescription deodorant if it really yeah. comes down to it. Yeah. Listen, actors are like onions; they have layers. <laughs> the smelly. But it's okay, really. I get to hear plenty of gossip about a lot of the other stars around me as these things happen. Well, that's true. Oh, hey, did you hear about Miss... Did you... So did you hear about this yet? About Miss Andrews' mentor and her suicide? It's a really weird segue into that conversation, huh? Yeah, this is also, like, not gossip. This yeah. This is more, like, really Does it personal just mean? shit. Yeah. Yeah. And also, he has a crush on Adrian. Like, what if... What yeah. What a weird conversation this is. You mean Miss Simpax? We heard something about how her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought about I thought about it a little the other day, about that mysterious death. Hey, Mr. Wright, why don't you ask me about that? Go on, go ahead. Is this the way to give us another dialogue thing? Yep, yep, absolutely. Mr. Okay, well, what about that? Mr. Powers is so charged up, his skin is practically glowing with electricity. What a shocking reveal. You know, Will, I'm starting to think that maybe the reason people don't like you is not because you're sweaty and smelly, but because you energetically ask people to ask you about suicide. Yeah, what Yeah, the... it's probably not a huge uh Yeah. Don't you make know? don't make us can don't make us cancel you, Will. For real. Don't For put real. don't put that on your Tinder profile, Will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh six foot five, sweaty, brutish, ask me about gossip. Uh <laughs> Ask me about the latest celebrity deaths. <laughs> ask me about it. Ask me about incredibly triggering gossip. Yeah. Hey, so have you heard this? Celeste left a suicide note. Yes. And they say that Warren went and hid it. Yes. We heard about that in court today. But there wasn't any actual proof that she left a note. Well, this is what I think. I think that something bad was written on that note. Wow. Something bad for one, that is. Great deductive really? power here, yeah, Will. Wow, powers. You have Something... those powers of deduction. Oh. Something bad for Mr. Karita? Why do you figure so? Well, before she died, Celeste talked with a few of her friends. She said 
It looks like I may have been caught by an insidious man. An insidious man? Did she mean Mr. Karita by that? Well, there's no one else that fits the bill, right? That would be reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome. Well, that was absolutely worth its info. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like turn around, walk away. Oh, wow. What a fucking waste of time. Uh, Mr. and Guard and Miss Andrews. They're both at the detention center right now. There are still things I don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I have to get the two of them to tell me everything. Okay, cool. That was, I mean, that was what right, I was trying now to do let's before. go back and talk to Matt. Now then, whose story I want to hear? Let's go to Matt. Hey, what's up, dude? Dude, it's Mr. Wright! Hope you can get me off the hook tomorrow. I'm counting on you. I hope so, too. Edgeworth just dropped a bombshell on me and said that Juan Carita was killed by an assassin and that assassin's client is this man, Madame Guard. What's wrong? Mr. Engard, there is something I must know with 100% certainty. Huh. You seem kind of different. You're totally not like your usual lawyer dude self. You know, who I've known for all of one day. <laughs> for literally I've several heard. minutes, and that's it. <laughs> I have like go way back, lawyer dude. <laughs> back and I day. remember how you used to be when we first met. <laughs> like, yesterday. <sighs> um, about the press conference. I mean, the one where Juan was going to dress up as the Nickel Samurai? Yeah. I heard a little more about it from Miss Andrews. It looked like somehow Juan ha had in his hands a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Could you please fill me in on what this secret is? Can you please tell me the thing that would most damage your career? Please! For lawyer reasons. Uh, Whoa. Whoa! The dreaded five level Cyclock. Hurry, give him Juan Carita's, Juan Carita's autograph. <laughs> yeah. That's usually worth about four Cyclops. <laughs> Mr. Nick, d don't tell me. A Cyclock. You said a secret, right? But you don't have any idea what it is. Do you, dude? <sighs> Did you know about Mr. Karita and Miss Andrews' relationship? Well, it's all over the tabloids, dude. Ah, but I don't know if... I don't know any of the details, if that's what you mean. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't care what Juan did with his life. Miss Andrews, she had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Karita. Her mentor was Mr. Karita's manager. Miss Andrews was going to get Miss Celeste Impact's suicide note from him. Celeste? Does that jog any memories? Dude, I suddenly just got totally hungry. Go for a pizza? A treat? Oh, yeah, it's sure. on save date is treat. Pizzas for Bridge? Yeah. Hashtag pizzas for Bridge. Oh, Pearl, fuck no, off! No. Pearl! I. Pearl, fuck right off. No. You stupid, <laughs> stupid child. I hate <laughs> this character. I don't hate her. I love her, but fuck you, Pearl. Oh, my God. <laughs> Not her fault, Wes. Not her oh fault. Oh, my God. Hashtag pizzas for Pearl. Um, Mr. Nick, uh, what's a pizza? Is that a kind of pea? Like green peas? Oh my god. Let's go eat one later, okay? And we need artwork of Pearl getting her first slice of pizza? Oh shit. Yeah. That's gonna be amazing. We also get artwork of me yelling at Pearl. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, I got cut off by the pizza dude at the shop. That never happens. 
that's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds off this topic and talk about something else, okay? Wow. Mr. Unguard, are you connected to Mr. Impact's suicide in some way? <laughs> Logan cheered a dollar, saying, Are we learning just how much of an abusive mother Morgan was? <laughs> <laughs> Never gave her daughter pizza. Never gave her daughter pizza. For just uh, 25 cents, you too can gift the small child a slice of pizza. <laughs> I don't... I mean, should we present and see if we act and break any of them? Yeah, I guess so. Now let's hear what this secret of yours is. What if Mr. Karina had been successful in his plan? What would he have disclosed? Mm. I told you before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan, okay? Look, Mr. Wright, I can keep on saying it until I'm blue in the face, but I totally didn't pay Juan any attention the whole time that night. I mean, come on. I was in the middle of a nap. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Karita, especially on that night. Oh yeah, because we got the, uh, got the. Uh, wait, do we not got? I th yeah, I thought we had, I thought we had. I guess he took it, but we would still have the wiretap thing. Oh, yeah, I thought we had the wiretap. I guess we don't have the wiretap. Well, this sucks. Why don't we have the wiretap? Gumshoe took it, <laughs> that bastard. Uh, oh, go back to the offices. Oddly enough. Is he gonna be here now? Yeah, that's uh -huh. God damn it. probably back. I do like that ringtone. Mr. Nick, your phone. How do you know what this is, Pearl? Oh, no, dude, last episode I just said I don't know what a cellular phone is. <laughs> Pearl's fucking punking us, all right? It's pretty. Yeah, no! <laughs> I don't like the sound of this ringtone right now. It sounds kind of ominous. It really doesn't. No. <laughs> it sounds really nice. It's probably just your imagination, because this beat slaps. <laughs> King Kieran bringing back the last week the reference. Zoon. It's your zoom, Mr. Nick. Mr. Nick. <laughs> God damn it. You should really, you should really turn that shit up, Mr. Nick. <laughs> Cranky. This is a, this is a bop. Turn down for what, Mr. Nick? Hello. We got a big problem, pal. What's wrong? I'm on my way to your office right now. Uh, okay. What did I give you my phone number? Hey, wait a sec. Why is he coming here? <laughs> it's terrible. Oh, I don't know what to say, pal. It's the end. I say I'm gonna. Oh. I got here faster than I thought. What is this line? <laughs> <laughs> um. Hey. Uh... I fucking use instant transmission. <laughs> no time to relax now, pal. I'm confused as anything here. Well, what happened? We got him. I know who bought that spy camera. Huh? Uh, this quickly? This bear's what gave him away, pal. The bear? Yeah. Should I should have just grabbed it? Yeah. <laughs> the bear came right out and said, Hey, Gumshoe, I know who bought the spy camera. <laughs> I they it out, jammed into my eye socket. <laughs> they that tore bastard. out my eye. I'll see them burn for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it myself. <laughs> I figured it. Oh, oh have man, been wait, Winnie the Pooh. Hey, Winnie the, the Pooh's uh, in the public domain now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Oh, Winnie the Pooh, don't do oh, it. Bob. I was gonna say, what, what do you, what do you call uh, <laughs> Winnie the Pooh on a stakeout? A honey pot. I don't know. Hey. There we go. There we go. Good. That's two motherfuckers. There you go. That's pretty good. Also, also, shout out to Cat by Mothman who cheered a bit to remind me that the cooldown has ended. <laughs> now wait. Now wait a minute. Is that a pun or is that a play on words? Mm. Is it a pun? Isn't a pun a play on words? Yeah. It, it's like it's like a, all puns are play on words, but not all plays on words are puns. Um, right. 
I don't know, chat, you decide. Was that a pun? Yeah, chat, chat, let, let us know, let us know. I'll, I can make another one if I have to. Sorry, did you say uh, that? I, I figured that we should have been looking into the bear instead of the camera. Um, wasn't oh. that what Mr. Edgeworth figured out? Pearls and go on. <laughs> did you just shush me, you motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, no, sorry, Pearl. Go on, go on, Pearl. There's only one person who bought one of those bears who's related to this crime. Who, who is it? Who would be so rude as to spy on another person in their room? It was me. <laughs> I completely God. forgot I bought it. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I forgot how much I love bears and spying <laughs> on people. And Juan Farina. <laughs> huh? And on God. The client, that's who, pal. And here I thought things couldn't get any worse. I don't know. I think we knew they were pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, come on. Are you sure you... Are you sure you heard right? The person who bought this bear was... I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. This is the credit card receipt for the purchase. It's for $3,800, pal. Damn. That's an exact match to the price of that stuffed bear. A receipt? That's all you have? Ah, uh, it's not just a receipt, pal. The store clerk said so himself. He told me, I'm sure I sold the bear to Mr. Ungod. I mean, the clerk even got Mr. Ungod's autograph out of it, pal. Why the fuck? Would you give an autograph when you're buying something that would incriminate you, you goddamn moron? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. Because Matt simultaneously who... as, as stupid and as smart as this case needs him to yeah, be. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> it, yeah. So I'm sure the person that bought the stuffed bear was Mr. Run God himself. Have you regretted it already? <laughs> <laughs> my, my sight is failing. This can't be. My optic implants, no! <laughs> my special eyes. <laughs> my millennium eye. <laughs> my brown. My Kika Genkai. My Mangeko Sharingan. Yeah, I was say, my, my family's bloodline <laughs> technique. Sharingan. So, what about the spy camera we found? Ah, uh, that was a dead end, pal. I mean, you can get this kind of thing from anywhere. For now, I guess I can give these back to you for you to file away at the evidence. Thanks, Gumshoe. Hey, thanks for giving me the thing I need. I know you don't want to give up, pal. I never but you should give up. <laughs> but, uh... Possible. The person who put the spy camera in Juan Carita's room was mad on guard. Well, why would Mr. On guard do something like this? I bet it was to catch Miss Andrews and Mr. Carita in one of their rendezvous. I bet is not good enough for me. I have to oh, know okay, the absolute yeah. truth behind okay, this yeah, camera. Lord. Calm down, Gumshoe. I'm not done. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna see him? Mr. On guard, I mean. We've, we've done it already. Yes. <laughs> I'm... I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I wonder, I wonder what we will find out next. I'm, I'm scared, Mr. Nick. I'm scared myself, but I have to put on a good face for pearls. Mad on guard, what in the world have you done? <laughs> Tell me, tell me the bastard! <laughs> hey dude, whatever, man. Don't I'm an assassin, that. he's also my butler. Uh, Dan Gaming fan. <laughs> A cheered five bits saying, what department store sells a taxidermy grizzly bear? Uh, that's a good question. A taxidermy store? Hmm. <laughs> oh, hi. You're working really late, you know? It's already past 10 p.m., dude. This game is very determined to tell us what time it is. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> I, I guess have characters remind us what time it is. Wait, wait a minute. I figured it out. This is all a simulation inside of the Thinker statue. Dun dun dun. I think it's time you told me the truth. Relax. You know that ignorance is bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. 
That was good. It was like really nice and ominous. Uh, oh, yeah, we should show them the butler profile. People are asking us to do that. About this person. He's... He is your butler, Mr. Doe, right? We met him at your mansion. Oh. Pearl, don't answer questions for people, especially yeah. when you need them to give you yeah, vital information. Uh -huh. Pretty bad lawyer technique there, Pearl. You're fired. Yeah, yeah <laughs> Pearl, get out of here. Run on home. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's a pretty cool dude who can do lots of things. <laughs> he takes real good care of me. It's a pretty cool dude who can do lots of things. <laughs> I, mean, I think we all I think we all need a pretty cool dude who can do lots of things in our life. That's that's hey, chat. chat, I hope you all have a pretty cool dude who can do lots of things in your life. <sighs> that's that's my hope for your all's twenty twenty two.